The culture surrounding Del Barton football is electric. From the packed stands on game day to dedicated players on the field. In 2020, the Green Wave will look to move that culture another step forward. Over two dozen seniors with years of varsity experience will pace the program this season. This is a special senior class, to be honest. We have 25 seniors. Uh, you know, I've been head coach now for 18 years, and you know, I think only one other time we had 25. Usually, we have somewhere in the teens. Um, but not only 25 seniors, these are seniors with experience. Depth on the roster is the most tangible result from all of those returning players. It's also the reason why Del Barton will have its starting 22 only going one way on the field. More energy and more dedication to one side of the ball so you can give maximum effort to you know your uh, one side. One of the most experienced players back in 2020 is quarterback Cole Freeman, who will be leading the offense for his third season this fall. Freeman orchestrated wild comebacks and ridiculous highlights on offense. Anytime you have an opportunity to come back with a returning starter or quarterback, uh, you're, you are in the plus mode. Uh, anytime you get a chance with a, a guy who's got two years under his belt, you're in the plus plus mode. So uh, he understands the offense through and through. He's a coach on the field. He's a fiery competitor. Football takes care of itself. We just prepare every day to make sure that, you know, those highlight plays and we, we make as many of those as we can and win ball games. Freeman's top target on the outside will be senior Gary Lewis III, the definition of a big play threat. He's been making highlights on varsity since his freshman season. We're really excited. We're all ballers. we got a lot of experience. We're playing with a lot of confidence. As you see in practice, we compete. We all got confidence in each other. Just trust each other on the field. The Green Wave will cause fits for opposing offensive coaches with talented players on every level of their defense. Elijah Hills is a mountain of a man in the middle. Dylan McCullis will team up with New Jersey 220-pound state champion P.J. Cassell to form a formidable linebacking core. And A.Z. Lewis and Jake Jarmolowicz bring smarts and athleticism to the defensive backfield. We pride ourselves on just going 100% and smacking people in the mouth every single play. And smash my football, that's how we win games and that's how we're going to win a state championship this year. I mean, we're just up and going, attacking, you know, attacking every play and just trying to get to the QB or whoever has the ball. Under Coach Bowers, Del Barton looks to make a serious jump statistically on both sides of the ball, as well as increase that win percentage. Their last trip to a state championship game came in 2014. They'll face five other non-publics, along with crosstown rival Morristown, to close the regular season. The Green Wave are chomping at the bit for week one. We've got a great schedule, um, a lot of good teams that we got to face this year, and it's really just about getting better every single day so that when, we, when it's game time, we're ready to go. We're really excited. You can expect us to come out strong every week, work hard every week, and we're going to give it our best. We got some, we got some games circled on that calendar that we're even more pumped for. <laughs> so everything, we just keep going. It humbles us, it makes us better, it makes us a better team, and we're ready to go. From Morristown, I'm Jay Cook with Jersey Sports Zone dot com.